Do you believe that art education is as important as STEM education? When I was younger, I asked my parents why art was always just an elective. Every kid had to take core classes, like math, science, and history. But art was always just an option that some kids don't even have. And I was lucky. I had a lot of extracurriculars as a kid, like painting, piano, and ballet. And I asked why school never taught me more about what I was most passionate about, art. And they answered like most parents do, about how these core classes will make you more successful in life. But I, I always wondered why future writers and future artists have to take calculus and biology in order to be successful. In America, our school art programs are getting cut every single year due to budgets that just can't fit everything in. 30% of public elementary schools don't have art classes at all. 50% don't have art rooms. And 90% don't have dance or drama teachers. But I know what you're thinking. Art doesn't really matter. It's not a money-making field, and maybe you just don't care. But a single day without art, our clothing would be detached from color, aesthetics, and pattern. We'd wear these gray or brown fabrics without any designs. There wouldn't be books, or libraries, or English class. And since there wouldn't be dance or kinesthetic expression, we would communicate without emotion or even hand gestures. Without painters, our walls would be plain white. And without architecture, our buildings and rooms would be uniform as well. A school without art is not an environment any student should learn in. It's a blank building without room for innovation and progress. And the impact of art on students is monumental. It doesn't just teach us to be creative. A New York study has shown that quality art programs can actually improve reading and writing skills. Arts can be used to solve environmental challenges. They can be used to solve conflicts. And they're a way to communicate. Art can also train us to notice details. For example, in this painting by Mark Brown, how many colors do you see? Art has taught me that color are the most overlooked part of our world because it's never as it seems. For every one color, there could be 20 more. The color white becomes blue, green, or even purple. And by teaching art, we allow kids to see this new level of depth to the world. Every Saturday, I teach first graders visual art. And in the beginning, I just taught them as I was taught when I was younger. I taught them how to do a fully completed drawing, step by step, and so it obviously started to feel really off. I completely changed how I taught. After I heard three things from one girl, I can't do it, this isn't right, and are we done now? After that, I tried my best to show them that there isn't any right and wrong in art. Since all of my students are five or six years old, they have an enormous amount of creativity. And last semester, it was always sad to see this creativity go away when the results were perfect in their or their parents' eyes. We're entirely focused on this logistical side of us, that even art can be simplified into right and wrong. Your perspective, proportions, and values might be off, but the art itself is never wrong. And of course, this doesn't mean that there aren't bad drawings. There just aren't wrong ones. Originally, I was afraid of what the parents might say. Sometimes, when these parents, when the results weren't perfect, these parents did it reward the drawing and even criticized it instead. But what does perfect even mean? In middle school, I spent hours and hours trying to get that perfect hundred on tests, quizzes, and even homework. There was never a good enough for me. Perfect is a hundred on a test after hours of memorization. Perfect is a regurgitation of facts that you'll probably forget in a week. And perfect is an impossible goal in everything outside of school, especially art. From carefully coloring inside the lines to step-by-step -step drawings, the idea of right and wrong in art stops creativity. Because if every drawing was exactly the same as everyone else's, how would we ever progress? And if we take this a step further, 
being wrong rewards society. Art is the first indicator of change, where societal development is driven by being different. History teaches us that art's impact reaches over the walls of school and into real life. And if we look back, we see evidence of this in almost every art period. For example, Impressionism was the turning point that started to march towards abstract art and more people using their creative freedoms. And it was, and still is, being criticized. Every great art period also had great backlash. We always have to go back to go forward. And we still see this today. Last month, I was at an art museum. And there were two extremes that I noticed. Photorealism and abstract art. So when I came across this photorealistic painting, the first thing that came to mind was, well, at that point, why not just take a picture? And when I came across this abstract painting, the first thing I thought was, a five-year-old could have done that. So I'm sure some of you can relate to my first impressions. But the reality here is that art is subjective. And maybe I could have taken that picture, or a five-year-old could have drawn that painting, but we didn't. And I'd be a hypocrite if I stood here saying that these paintings are wrong, and then on Saturday to try to convey otherwise. By invoking these negative emotions in us, these paintings propel us forward in history, whether we like it or not. They could lead us to the next revolution like the neoclassical movement, or maybe the next rebirth of ideas like the Renaissance. And this all leads back to the question, why are we not teaching more of our students art in school? Because it lets them see new perspectives, steers them away from the idea of perfectionism, drives society forward as a whole, and actually creates culture. If we fall back into a world without any kind of art presence, even technology can't stop us from becoming the equivalent of cavemen again. There needs to be more art implemented in the schools, especially where change is needed the most. Where art is, change follows. So in our schools in America, art is more important than ever for children. Thank you.